Good morning guys, actually it's afternoon, it's almost 2.30. But I am gonna do a what I eat in a day vlog style video today just to kind of share with you guys how I've been eating. I am trying to make a little bit of healthier choices because I still have about 10 pounds left to lose. If you're new here, I'm four months postpartum and I'm still trying to lose all my baby weight. So that last 10 pounds, like it has not gone anywhere. In fact, I like keep fluctuating between like 10 to 13 pounds ah. left. So I know it's like, I need to make a change with my diet. I work out um, four days a week. So I know that it's not that, it's definitely my diet. Ah. Hey, sweetheart. So. The first thing I had this morning, I am counting calories with my fitness pal. I've done that before and I always like, after like one or two days, I quit doing it because I hate doing it. But I do feel like it's so helpful because like you don't like snack and graze throughout the day because you like know that you have to write it down. So for breakfast, he's sick today. I had a perfect bar. Um, you can find these really pretty much anywhere now. Um, Walmart sells them, Aldi sells them. So they're like 360 calories and it's just like a cold protein bar. It's really good. It tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough. So that's what I had for breakfast. Oh, and then I also had my Slim over here. I'll show you guys what that looks like. I had my Plexus Slim this morning. Um, I drink one of those a day. So the Slim helps with like your blood sugar levels and just, it's like more of like a healthy drink. It's not necessarily like a weight loss drink, but it definitely helps you lose weight if you need to lose weight. Um, and now I'm making my lunch because that protein bar like really filled me up. So for lunch, you guys, look how healthy I'm being today. So for lunch today, this was last night's dinner, this little chicken breast um, with mozzarella cheese and tomatoes and spices. So I just heated that up and put it over a bed of spinach with some Parmesan cheese and tomatoes and I'm gonna drizzle some balsamic dressing over it. And I'm not very hungry um, because like I said, that protein bar really fills me up. So I'm not very hungry, but this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. So, but Crew is actually sick today. This is the first time he's been sick since he's been born. Um, it's just a cold, but I'm not sure if he has an ear infection or not. My mom said he was kind of holding at his ear yesterday when I wasn't home. Um, I haven't seen him do that today. He hasn't had a fever today. He had a small one two days ago. Um, so I talked to the doctor and they said, you know, just monitor him and um, as, as long as he's like keeping everything down and like, you know, basically he, he's fine. So I don't have to take him in unless I notice something else changing, but um, he did throw up today. Like he'll start coughing and then he'll like gag and like sounds like he's choking and then he'll like spit up. So he did that earlier and it was like kind of like mucusy. <sighs> so I don't know. Um, poor thing, but no fever or anything today. He's other than that, he's fine. It's just, it can tell he's like really uncomfortable. Okay, I'm also drinking water, ice water. I drink it all throughout the day. I usually try to fill it up about three times a day. And I also forgot to say, I did have my postnatal plus vitamin this morning. And then I just had my first dose of bio cleanse, detox and cleanse. And this is a kind of like a digestive system. Um, aid it's just really nice to take twice a day and i find that it really really helps i've been taking it for a couple of years now but i am still hungry that uh salad didn't fill me up quite so i'm making a coffee one of my tips is if you are still hungry um first of all wait because i feel like i'm always hungry as soon as i'm done eating a meal and then like if i wait like 20 minutes i'm not hungry anymore like once the food like kind of like you know settles in your stomach um, so that's the first tip another tip is to just drink like a coffee because coffee always fills me up so I use let's see this is the Folger cinnamon swirl I'm not like the biggest fan I prefer the Dunkin Donuts ones but we're out of that so I do two scoops of that and then I do one scoop of this espresso in my ninja so that is what I'm making right now let me find a mug There's my coffee. And I also need to put something in my coffee. Um, usually I do this Premier Protein, which is so good. But since I already had a protein bar, 
I feel like I don't need all this protein today, so I'm gonna have this one, which is a coconut milk creamer. I still Alexa, need myself. Pause. Okay, I'm just listening to Audible, and I am like trying to straighten up the house. Cal is playing. He's got cars on the. I don't even know what it is on YouTube, but look how funny this is. <laughs> His uh, pod cover is in the wash. And Crew is napping over here in his swing, which is really good because he didn't nap earlier. Um, but it is 4.15, so I'm gonna have some tea now. This is the Pink Stork Tea in Slim. They have so many different ones. If you're pregnant, breastfeeding or postpartum they have like tons of different teas this is the slim for your metabolism postpartum and it's good for breastfeeding too so um i just have this like little electric ow <laughs> electric kettle so i'm gonna put some tea in this mug and sip on that i feel like i always have to be like drinking something while i'm especially like while i'm cleaning but this is what they look like And I also got their Uplift tea too. So you can get them on Amazon. And they taste really good. So I'm gonna sip on that and keep on cleaning. I'm gonna go ahead and have another cup. The cool thing about these teas is you can actually steep them twice. So I'm gonna just heat up some more water and pour it back over and steep it again. Okay, now I'm having a snack because I am breastfeeding and I get cravings throughout the day so I'm just Trying to only have two of these Hershey Kisses a day. So I'm having two Hershey Kisses. All right, so it's dinner time for the boys. Um, I'm just getting Cal's dinner ready. And Crew is four months old, so I do give him the baby cereal. I don't do it every night, um, but usually most nights I try to. So I'm going to give him that tonight, and it's almost six o'clock so they eat kind of early we don't like to eat until after they go to bed because they feel like you can't relax when you're like when they're this age you can't relax and eat at the same time so cal is having some green beans which he loves and then this is the rest of that bow tie pasta with some marinara and some parmesan and then his favorite hot dogs uh, yeah Yay! 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 Oh, let me get you your fork. They fork? Yeah. And here is Crew's dinner ish. I mean, I'm just gonna breastfeed him right after this, but um, the beech nut oatmeal, um, breast milk, and then I'm just gonna stir it up. What, babe? And I've gradually started to make it thicker, so it's pretty thick now. So I picked these up at Aldi's. This is a mango salsa or pico. And then this is a guacamole. I felt like, I don't know if it's gonna taste good. I'll let you guys know, but I felt like it was a lot easier than making it myself and some chips. All right, so at 6.45, I just got crew down and this is the time that I cook now, and I really like doing it, like getting him down early. That way I can still like cook dinner. Um, it's just so much easier. So if you have an infant, I would suggest putting them to bed and then cooking dinner afterwards. Um, right now I'm just mixing up some flour and spices. I'm making an enchilada rice casserole tonight for dinner. Unfortunately, I didn't have um, enchilada sauce, so I had to look up a recipe to make enchilada sauce. So that's like makes the recipe so much more complicated because now I have to make homemade sauce for it, but it shouldn't be a big deal. So I'm gonna make the sauce and get the casserole started. So I just realized the recipe that I'm making calls for cooked chicken and my cook my chicken is not cooked. So I think I'm gonna try to air fry it because I think that's supposed to be quick. Babe, should I try to air fry this chicken? Air fry it. All right, we're gonna try it. never done this before but I think it'll work I do these aren't even real chicken breasts they're like these little tenderloins so we'll do about four I guess 
see how many do I have left after this. We'll do five. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay them flat. And then I put it on chicken. And now it's gonna go for 20 minutes. We'll see how it works. Okay, the rice that I'm using for this casserole is basmati. And I went with brown because I think it's healthier. So, um, never had this rice before, but I got it at Aldi's. And then this is the sauce situation. I think it's actually working out. It's just like tomato paste, broth. I use chicken broth and then um, a bunch of spices. And it's supposed to get thicker as it cooks. bother cooking because let's see oh my gosh I didn't have enchilada sauce then I needed cooked chicken so now I'm like trying to cook it quickly then I find out the rice that I'm using takes 35 minutes to cook um mind you it's already seven o'clock so <laughs> not to mention the casserole still needs to cook once everything's ready now I'm opening the freaking corn and I bought cream corn I'm still using it I don't even care whatever this is gonna be the sickest recipe ever but we need to eat I mean it worked they're just like <laughs> a little bit overcooked and try to shred it up now The chicken with enchilada sauce. So refried beans. That sound is so gross. Ew. Okay, and cheese. Okay, and I'm gonna add in the rice. It didn't completely cook, but I can't wait any longer. Alright guys, so that wraps up my what I ate in a day video. I did have two more Hershey Kisses after dinner and actually that enchilada casserole was really good so I'll put the recipe down below. But I wanted to show you kind of what I've been doing. So I've been using MyFitnessPal. I just use the free version and basically it counts all of your calories and like I said, I want to lose about 10 pounds. So um, according to that, it says I need to be eating about 1200 calories which I'm also breastfeeding and working out, so I know that that's not enough. Um, so I talked to, um, one of my friends is gonna kind of help me. She's gone through a lot of this, and so she said about 1,800 calories is my goal, um, and I'm not like, I've never been a calorie counter before in my life, so if I go over 1,800, I'm not gonna like be mad about it. I'm gonna still like continue to um, you know, eat, but I also feel like this has already helped so much. Like just by doing this for the past three days, I've already lost weight, which is crazy. Um, cause I think I just like overeat and I overconsume and I don't need as much as I think. And then I'm also like eating, like, like making bad choices. But I feel like when you have something like this and you are writing it down, you like are making better choices. So it says today, I feel like this might be a little bit off. Um, but it says I had about 1600 calories today. Um, so my breakfast was 320 calories and it was just that bar. And then my lunch was really healthy and lean with just the spinach, chicken, a little bit of cheese and tomatoes. So that was 333 calories. And then my dinner, of course, was that big casserole, which came out to about 600 calories. And then my snacks throughout the day, um, a total of four Hershey Kisses. That's the thing is like, just have moderation. So I only had four Hershey Kisses, which believe it or not, that's still 120 calories. 
Um, and then I did have the guacamole, the chips, and the pico de gallo. So that was like 332 calories in the snacks. Um, and then I did not work out today because crew was sick. I didn't want to take him to the gym. So I didn't work out today, but that is what I ate. So I was at 1600 calories for the day. But also on this app, if you go into nutrition, it'll show you like I was over by nine grams of protein and I was over my sugar by four grams. I was over my fat. I was under cholesterol. I was under sodium. So you can kind of break it down. So I think that's kind of cool too. But I don't know. I feel like I'm off to a good start. And like I said, so this is like not like a diet. I'm not like dieting. I'm just trying to make healthier choices and eat more in moderation. So that's what I ate today. This is how I'm tracking it. Hopefully it goes well. Like I said, I've already been seeing weight loss on the scale. And again, I am exercising pretty much four days a week. So let me know if you guys have any healthy meal ideas because I'm definitely on the lookout for good things to eat that will be satisfying and still healthy. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I eat in a day and I will see you in my next video.